And welcome into Lone Peak High School for Game Night Live Rewind's coverage of the Lone Peak girls basketball team. Dusty Lister with you as tonight the Lone Peak Knights taking on the Pleasant Grove Vikings as we are into the second round of region play. Played everybody once, now make the second one and we are just over well, about four weeks away from the state tournament as uh, the Lone Peak Knights come in 14-0 on the year, 5-0 in region play. Pleasant Grove comes in 12-6 on the year, 2-3 in region. They're coming off a 51-49 win at Corner Canyon last Friday. They had the early part of the week off and play tonight. And uh, this game, we had this one at PG where Lone Peak shot the lights out and uh, really pulled away from Pleasant Grove early. It'll be interesting to watch this one tonight. As, uh, as always, we watch Kaylee Woolston, the junior shooting guard. She had six threes in that first matchup at Pleasant Grove. And for tonight, Pleasant at, for PG, Brooklyn Feely has got to get going earlier than that first matchup. She did have some points in the second half, but it was late. As, uh, she and Chloe Rudder are the difference makers in this matchup. And we will start first with Pleasant Grove, and it will be Chloe Rudder bringing the ball in the front court as Rudder will hand back to Marin Jones to set up the offense. For Coach Reeves. Feely into Rudder. Sent out for three. And a little long there for Mia Reeves, and that ball is out of bounds, and it will be Pleasant, or pardon me, Lone Peak basketball. Oh, no. We had a foul on that ball. So the foul to Nawahine. Up top with Reeves. And this is Lucy Miller. Now Marin Jones. Feely goes at Tanu Vasa. Can't get that one to go. Tipped out into the hands of Chloe Rudder, who lays it up and in the first points. Go to Pleasant Grove. As Ika comes the other way, leaves it back for Nawahine. And back out to Ika. This is Ika, Woolston, Nordstrom, Nawahine, and Tanu Vasa, the starting five as that ball goes out of bounds. And it'll be PG basketball. In that first matchup just a few weeks ago, the PG's offense had him really didn't get a chance to get into rhythm. As that ball goes off of Wilson's leg, back in the hands of PG, as it was uh, quickly the shooting of Lone Peak that took over is uh, onto the ground, and it'll be. A foul on Pleasant Grove. And it's Brooklyn Feely picking up the first foul. As we'll get the uh, on our unofficial clock and game clock synced up. 624. Left in the first quarter. Tony Vasa hit a few threes in that first one. Hands back to Woolston and Kaylee Woolston from way outside. And if that's a sign of things to come, it'll look a lot like game one. Remember, she hit six threes at PG at Valhalla. Feely. I would say that's got to be a travel. As, they, as Feely turns the ball over. Six minutes left in the first. Now Ahine hands back to Woolston. Kaylee down the lane, hits the deck, and we'll have a foul on Pleasant Grove. So the foul to Rudder, so a foul on each of the post players of PG. And the first free throw good from Kaylee Woolston. Of course, Kaylee been a starter since she was a freshman here for Coach Nancy Warner. And that free throw good. 
Pat, I want to say golden era, but a very good era of girls basketball players in the state of Utah. A four-year starter, of course, Taya Sidbury broke the all-time scoring record last night from Chrome and Hook, a former AF basketball player, is on the take and make by Marin Jones. But Sidbury, a four-year starter at a, a judge. As they send out to Nawahine, Tuila can't get that one to go as that ball is out of bounds off of Woolston. As Sarah Bartholomew comes on for Coach Warner. As the clock is stuck in the gym, is uh, I stopped our clock because the clock in the gym is still sitting at 5.33 as now Ahine scores. And the officials haven't noticed that the clock's been at 5.33 for an extended period of time. We should be about four and a half minutes left. But none of the officials have noticed that the clock is not moving. Uh, officials still hadn't noticed. It's now sitting at 5:20. But. Frank substitution. Checking in number 21. Daniel Tadavasa replaces number 10. So right now they got the clock at 5:17. No one, none of the officials noticed. So I could have just left ours at 5.16, and they rolled it down to... <laughs> so we'll get an extra minute here. This is uh, girls' soccer season ending with football. As uh, Nordstrom back to the hole. Nice finish. Great play out of bounds. And a five-point lead for the Knights. As uh, Reeves never had that one stolen, but... Finds the cutting Miller who draws the foul on Bartholomew. It'll be Miller going the line. That will be the second team foul on Lone Peak. As Miller hits the first. And gets the second. And that loose ball picked up by Rudder. Outside with Feely. Brooklyn goes right at Tonu Vasa. Got a little space. And they'll get Tonu Vasa with the foul. And up at Brooklyn Feely at the line. As we mentioned, Lone Peak 5-0 the first round through region. A lot of close games. A one-point win or two-point win at Corner Canyon. A two-point win against Westlake. They have been pushed. As Feely hits both free throws, and it's a one-point game, 9-8. to eight. Nawahine hands back to Shawnee Nordstrom, and Nordstrom finds Bartholomew, misses the bunny, and that's Feely coming away with the rebound. Brooklyn down the lane, and it's a PG lead. Brooklyn Feely, we talk about the top that she and or Rudder would have to get going early on. And a little hot there as Kaylee Rich hands back to Nordstrom. Pleasant Grove coaches wanting a legal screen to the corner. 
Nawahine finds Bartholomew. We've got a foul on the drive. So the foul is off the ball on Kaylee Rich. And that'll be the 14th foul on the Knights. So here's Reeves off the screen, a rudder. Reeves, a wild with the shot, rebound, and now Hine. And now Hine leaves it to Woolston. Kaylee only put up the one shot, the deep three. The first points for Lone Peak as Ika gets past the defense, and it's Rudder with the block. Go there and call that out of bounds off of Ika. I thought maybe I want the hands of Rudder. They said no. As we near the three minute mark in the first quarter. It's Emily Deal came off for Coach Reeves and it's Feely hard on the drive. Can't get the shot to drop it. We're gonna have a loose ball foul on Nordstrom. So team foul number five on the Knights. This essentially could be free throws the entire second quarter for Pleasant Grove. So they just got that ball in. That, whoa. And now a block to Ika as Nawahine continues to drive to the hole. And the foul to Ika. Coach Warner going to ask for a uh, clarification. We go high, low in the rudder, a pass off the mark taken by Nordstrom. Shawnee sends ahead to Woolston. Kaylee with the finish. So an 11-10 lead to Lone Peak. As again, the uh, clock did not run for another 40 seconds. We got about another extra two minutes into this quarter. Talked to some coaches, current and, and former, that want to see 10-minute quarters in high school basketball. And we're going to get our first taste of that tonight. As I send that ball to the corner. Now into Rudder. Back out. Reeves has that one stolen by Ika. And that's stolen by Deal. Ika put the steal. Kind of feeling like, uh, like hockey here. Finally through the blue zone. And now Ahine on the drive goes into Feely. And one. Tula now Ahine draws a foul on Feely. Her second gets the bucket and now she'll go to the line. So Feely got to come off the floor as uh, Sarah Newman will come on. So now Ahine. Off on the free throw as the board goes in the hands of Rudder. Marin Jones hands back to Newman. Newman cut off, and it's Rich hitting the deck. And it's Woolston with the loose ball. Woolston draws the foul on Newman. And that'll be the fourth team foul on Pleasant Grove. Block charge is uh, it's the most argued call in high school sports, or high school basketball, because PG's mad about that block. Lone Peaks is uh, feel my pain on the Feely block on uh, Ika. 
So we'll see those go. Send out Ika for three. And there it is. Ika for three. And a six point lead for Lone Peak. Inside rudder. And now she draws the foul on Ika. And that'll put Rudder at the line for two. And now my chance to lobby for the restricted area. Ika wouldn't be under the hoop, try to take a charge if she knew that it's going to be a foul inside the restricted area. There's Rudder off on the first. Ninth substitution number three, Shawnee Nordstrom replaces Tewiba Nabahine. Correction, she replaces Michaela Ika. And now a jump ball. It'll be Lone Peak basketball. With 50 seconds to go in this opening quarter. It will be one of those games, it feels like. Gonna have a lot of... A lot of arms in the air. Tanovasa for three. The third three of the quarter for Lone Peak. Wilson, Ika, and Tanuvasa. Marin Jones hands back to Rudder. Rudder pulls up at the free throw line, lips out in the rebound in the hands of Kaylee Rich. Now on the push with Nawahine. Cross court, Wilson. Kaylee, float it. No, she hit the charge. Knew that was coming the moment she put that ball on the floor and that foul picked up by Sarah Newman. It has the first on Woolston, the eighth team foul. It will be free throws the entire second quarter for PG. Marin Jones on the drive. Jones, and she's going to get, they'll get the foul on Nordstrom. It will put Jones at the line for two free throws as Emotions remain high in this first quarter. And the first free throw, no good. From Emily Deal. Or probably Marin Jones. Passion isn't a feeling, folks. It's a gift. We have a lot of gifted people here tonight. And the second free throw, good from Jones. But the clock started before it was touched. We'll put time back on the clock. We'll sink ours up. Caught it there, but we didn't. <laughs> it was 5.33 for a solid minute or longer. Well, got it caught there. Got to lob it into Nordstrom. Shawnee at the horn. And she hits it! From beyond half court, Shawnee Nordstrom closes out the <laughs> this first quarter with the fourth three of the quarter for Lone Peak. At the end of one, it's the Knights 22. Pleasant Grove of 11, you're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball. Start of the second quarter, as Preston the intern will get that clock fixed. Rudder goes at Woolston. Chloe backs her way in, Woolston with the block. Rudder got the loose ball and puts it in. Little bully ball there from Chloe Rudder. Ika, beautiful hesitation. And finish. Michaela Ika. Is, it's an 11 point lead for Lone Peak. Oh, beautiful take and another block to Woolston. Her second of the quarter. As that was Zimmy Peterson on the drive. That uh, short spell there for Zimmy. As Lucy Miller comes back on. 
along with Reeves. Inbound into Rudder. Miller step back three, no, and it's the rebound to Shawnee Nordstrom. Now Tony Vasa. And Tony Vasa fouled on the drive. That'll be the 15th foul on Pleasant Grove. As the foul goes to Mia Reeves. Number one on Reeves. Ika into Woolston. Nawahine. So down baseline to Tonu Vasa. Float and scores. Five points in the half for Tonu Vasa. And the lead to 13. Long two from Reeves won't go, and it's a rebound to Nordstrom. Woolston, her second three. It didn't want to go down, but she willed it home. PG led 10 to 9, and since that point, a 20 to 3 run for Lone Peak. Jones gets it back from Rudder, can't get it. And the rebound in the hands of Ika. Drive, no, take by Ika, couldn't get it. And now that one's stolen. Ika ahead to Nawahine. Ed Tula, Nawahine lays it in. Timeout on the floor. Lone Peak on a big run. A 22 to three runs is trailing 10 to nine. 5.33 left in the half. You're watching Lone Peak basketball. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Or if my kid had a fever. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. I want to take tests when I'm ready. I want to take courses on my time. And speed up when I know my stuff. I want a university that cares about me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Test day's test day. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. 5.33 left and a half. Dusty Lister with you here at Lone Peak. As always, Game Night Live Rewind brought to you by Heidemann and Associates. Go to utah.law. Find the law office nearest you. Remember, flat rate law office with Heidemann and Associates. You get your living trust set up or your will set up against a flat fee. Not get charged by the hour. Get a free consultation. Go to utah.law. Been quite the run from Lone Peak. As PG had things going and kind of coincides with Brooklyn Feely going to the bench with their second foul. Is they're going to try to find some office. Livingston goes cross court to Miller. Short on the triple and the rebound in the hands of Bartholomew. And now we'll have the jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to Lone Peak. So Shawnee hands back to Wilson. And a screen foul on Bartholomew. Number two. Number two on Bartholomew is now Ahine comes back on for Kaylee Wilson.
Miller. Goes inside to Feely. Feely trying to work on Kaylee Rich, has to back things out. Reeves is pass off the hands of Miller. And now a foul down low will put Rudder at the line for two free throws. And Lone Peak's got a gripe there. That pass from Reeves was off the hands of Miller that went into the backcourt, which should have been a backcourt violation when Miller went and retrieved it. As Rudder gets the first. If things doesn't seem disjointed enough, that ball's bouncing off the rim so much, there was an erroneous whistle on that free throw. They did count it, as we do count points when whistles are blown in the middle of plays. As we were halfway through the second quarter, as Wilson misses on the free throw line jumper. Feely has back to Rudder. See outside, Tess Livingston will pull for three. Can't get it. Feely tracking down the rebound, loses her footing, and she kicked the ball. And that will be Lone Peak basketball. And I think our clock again didn't run inside the arena. This is down to 326 on a rolling clock. Woolston off the screen, no. And Rudder with the board. Feely tries to fit that into Rudder and does. Stripped away by Tanu Vasa. Rudder with the foul. It'll be a two-shot foul. We'll put Rudder back at the line. As Chloe Rudder misses the first. But a tough afternoon from the charity stripe. In this first half for Pleasant Grove. About three minutes left uh, in the first half. And what's been a frustrating half for PG. Started out fine. Pleasant Grove and then Lone Peak ratcheted it up as really the game got a little more intense. Lone Peak played better. As Rich's pass goes off the hands of Tanavasa, she goes back and gets it. Tanavasa at Feely, send to the corner, Nawahine waiting on the three, and just as you want to take that shot from inside out. And Nawahine with the corner three, come on the other end, and it's Feely travels. And the ball back to Lone Peak. Oh, beautiful cut by Woolston. And a great find by Ika. And it's a 20 point lead. Rudder back in down. Woolson ball slapped away by Tanu Vasa, picked up by Ika. McKaylee, or Nawahine left all alone, and Nawahine. Timeout, PG. What a half for Lone Peak. Timeout on the floor, we'll be right back. As Lone Peak continues the onslaught here in the first half. Top of the rudder. 
Marin Jones out to Miller. Try to get that ball to Livingston. Picked up by Rudder. She traveled. Sue's in between, trying to give that up to Brooklyn Feely or put the shot up. In the process, turns the ball over. Wilson drives and no call. Interesting. As Tess Livingston will come get the ball. Into the corner of a Feely. There's Rudder. Rudder driving on Rich, hands back to Feely. Feely goes out, Woolston. And Feely banks that one in. She wanted a plus one, I'm gonna get it. As Ika comes right back and scores. Michaela Ika. Puts Bowen Peak up 22. As we go inside, 20 seconds left in the first half. And Ika knocks that ball out of bounds. Well, they're going to say that one off PG as well. So it'll be Bowen Peak ball. Five seconds left, Shawnee Nordstrom hit the buzzer beater at the end of the quarter. Now at the end of the half, loaded up, doesn't get it. But that'll do it for the first half as Lone Peak closes the half on a 31 to eight run. Quite the run for Lone Peak. As we go to the break with Lone Peak leading 40 to 18, you're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. Start of the second half, Dusty Lister with you and a big lead of the great end of the half for Lone Peak. As Pleasant Grove gonna try to bounce back here. As Rudder comes off the screen of Feely. Chloe Rudder sends back out to Miller. And there it is, Ika with the steal. And Michaela Ika starts off the first half the way they close out the second. Strong defense leading to offense for Lone Peak. Rudder and Feely were leading scorers. They have 13 of the 18 Lone Peak points, or probably Pleasant Grove points. As Rudder goes inside out, now back up top to Miller and Reeves. As Tony Voss has done a good job on Feely. Remember, Feely had a sit in the first quarter when PG led 10-9. to because of foul trouble. She got loose, and Tommy Vasa with a good effort there, but it's Feely with a better offense with the basket. And then Feely now with eight, and now a foul on the other end. We'll put Woolston at the line to shoot two as Miller doesn't agree. As the foul be charged to Lucy Miller. As Woolston knocks down the first free throw. Her first free throws of the afternoon. Woolston now with 13 points. Of course, led the nation in free throw percentage a year ago. Broke the national record. It's the second. And if I'm misremembering that, I'm just uh, continuing the fish story. Or the lore, if you will. But a 24-point advantage now for the Lady Knights. Inside a rudder. Oh, great give and go, and just couldn't get it to drop. Shawnee Nordstrom picks up the loose ball and give it up to Ika. McKaylee, nice pass inside. Now Ahine lays it in, and Ika with a beautiful find, and now Ahine now with 11. Now this game was 10 to 9, and it got intense, and the intensity just really sharpened the play of Lone Peak. As Feely going to drive on Woolston. Can't get that to go. And Kaylee pulled down the rebound. Had it stolen by 
Reeves. That ball still loose and it'll be picked up by, no, Rudder got it. To the corner, Reeves. Long on the three, Feely with the board. Brooklyn give it up to Rudder, who finishes with the right hand. Good grief, PG wanted the ball more on that possession. Lone Peak just couldn't clear it. And on the other end, Ika draws the foul, and I'll put McKaylee Ika at the line to shoot two. As Ika done a great job, as soon as you get the ball, goal pressure the defense immediately. So a 24-point advantage for Lone Peak is uh, Ika at the line. She's got nine on the night, a number of assists, and that first free throw won't drop as Kaylee Rich will come on, giving Tanovasa a break as Naya Tanovasa will come off the floor. And Ika splits the pair. And a kick to Ika, and we'll stay here 519 left in the third. And now a screen foul on PG. That's number three on Feely. And that's the third team foul on PG is. Lone people bring ball up the floor. Go inside to Nawahine. Tila sends up top, Ika back to the corner. Nawahine outside Nordstrom, Shawnee. Short on the tray and that ball out of bounds off of Lone Peak. It'll be a pleasant grow ball. So Zimmy Peterson, Emily Deal, come on as Miller, Reeves, and Feely come off the floor. And also Newman came on. Peterson tried to go high low, and that was stolen on the push. Now Wahine. Nordstrom to the corner, Ika, 4-3. McKaylee Ika from downtown, and it's a 28-point advantage. Find that ball inside, blocked by Ika. And she takes a shot at the end of that play. And that'll be a foul on Newman. And number two on Sarah Newman. As the fourth team foul on the Vikings. But how about the sequence from Ika? Knock down the three, come back and get the SWAT. Nawahine with the blow by. Baseline floater drops for Nawahine. And now a 30 point lead for Lone Peak. Deal straight away and knocks it down. Emily Deal. Their first points of the evening. Shawnee Nordstrom leaves it for Nawahine on the angle now with Ika. Didn't get that three to drop, and it'll be Pleasant Grove basketball with. So Nawahine and Ika will come off the floor for Tanuvasa. And Page, Sam Page on the floor for the first time tonight. Uh, loose ball picked up by Rudder. Rudder has that one slapped away by Page. Wilson on the run. Give it up to Shawnee Nordstrom. Reverses and it crawls off. And the rebound cleared out by Peterson. Quickly ahead, Rudder. Gets her own board and put back. Yeah. 
Page outside Tanu Vasa. And Tanu Vasa off on the three, tracked down by Rich. Rudder with the steal. Sends ahead to Sarah Newman for the layup. Can't get it. Peterson on the trail board and put back. And timeout, Coach Nancy Warner. 2.33 left in the third. We'll be right back. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind. It's out of the timeout. Here's Shawnee Nordstrom. Tanuvasa up top, Bartholomew. This is going to be Bartholomew, Tanuvasa, Nordstrom, Page, and Woolston. But the foul goes on Bartholomew. That is number three on Sarah Bartholomew. That is the first team foul of the second half on Lone Peak. Peterson on the drive and finish. Four points here for Zimmy Peterson. As Woolston backs up to a deep three and rattles it home. Kaylee Woolston, her third three of the evening. And her 17th point of the night. Deal. Can't get the three. Rudder with the board and then draws the foul on Bartholomew. That is number four on Bartholomew. On Bartholomew. Oh, it was number five. I was off on one. So number five on Bartholomew. That is Chloe Rudder at the line. And it's the first is Peterson will have to come off. So now Ahine and Ika come back on. As Rudder hits them both. So Feely comes back on for Chloe Rudder. As we have 135 left in the half. No problem, left in the third. As Ika got that loose ball back, sends out to Page. Oh, the three was halfway down and came out. And the loose ball taken by Pleasant Grove. Feely gives that up to Peterson, who pulls for three. A little long. Rebound to Newman, and Sarah Newman fouled. They'll put her at the line for two free throws. They had a different name for number 20 than we did on the roster. They'll put Newman at the line. And she knocks down the first. So Shawnee Nordstrom comes back on for Sam Hope. As Newman goes two for two. Junction jumper from Woolston crawls home. Kaylee Woolston now at 19. That ball loose, picked up by Ika. McKaylee on the run. McKaylee sent out to Woolston. Off on the three, rebound to Rich. She sends out to Shawnee Nordstrom, who rattles home the three. As Nordstrom now hits double digits on the evening. Ball loose. And now the whistle is the jump ball and possession arrow belongs to Lone Peak. Nawahine getting on the floor.
So Nordstrom hit the beyond half-court shot at the end of the first quarter. His two threes on the night. As Nordstrom on the drive hangs and it crawls off. And rebound in the hands of the Vikings is Feely on the drive at the end of the quarter. Can't get it to go. And Dow will do it for the third as it continues to be all Lone Peak. The Knights lead 60-35 as we head to the fourth and final quarter. So welcome in. Start of the fourth quarter as we have a great cause to make a Wish Foundation fundraiser going to be going on. As we start the fourth quarter with PG inside, Chloe Rudder sends out for three, and Simi Peterson knocks down the three ball. As Shawnee Nordstrom up to Nawahine, now on the angle with Ika. McKaylee send out to Nordstrom for three and not Shawnee Nordstrom. The New Zealand native goes full Kiwi on that one and now has 13 on the night. As on the other, come back this way is Nawahine off on the three. And ahead to Feely. Whoa. There we go. That was, that was quite an impressive take and uh, shot there by Brooklyn Feely. Doesn't get it to go. The loose ball tracked down by Lone Peak. Outside Nawahine to the corner. Shawnee Nordstrom off on the three. Rebound to Woolston. As Kaylee hits deck, no call, and now down the floor with Peterson. Oh, nice heads up play by Marin Jones. As Reeves comes on for Jones. As now Ahine will come off in favor of Tanuvasa, and now we have a foul on the inbound. On Chloe Rudder. So Lawrence comes on for Shawnee Nordstrom. As we go under six minutes left. As Ika picks up the loose ball, sent out to Woolston. Kaylee for three, no. Rebound to Rich. Kaylee Rich blocked away, and we'll keep it here. That's going to go off of, goes off of PG. So Livingston and Miller come back off for Coach Reeves. Tanu Vasa on the drive. As Rudder saves that one in, it's picked up by Feely. Brooklyn off the screen from Rudder. And now out to Livingston, and she'll set up. As Rudder going to pull for three. Doesn't get in. It's Ika with the board. Ika inside out to Woolston. Kaylee. Now Lawrence, who just checked in. Now McKaylee Ika. McKaylee for three. Goes out. And Miller got the board, but stepped on the sideline. As they go back to Lone Peak. Lone Peak 
Nawahine replaces Kaylee. So Nawahine will come back on for Kaylee Rich. As we're just a few weeks away from 6A State Tournament. Again, Dane Stewart and myself, Dusty Lister, will have all the games for you right here on kslsports.com, your new online home for state championships. As there's a foul on the lob. And that is the sixth team foul on the night, or probably on the... on the Vikings. Is inbound into Nawahine, and Nawahine gets it at. Gets that to go. But those state championships will be happening up at the University of Utah, Monday through Friday, and then of course championship Saturday will be moving to the Marriott Center. As Nawahine tips it, picked up by Tanuvasa. Tanuvasa to Nawahine. She saves it to Lawrence. Straight away, Shawnee Nordstrom. Off on the three, Lawrence with the board and put back. So Katie Lawrence, their first two. But Dana and I will have all that for you. And of course, we'll have the rest of the regular season region games here for Lone Peak. Right here on Game Night Live Rewind on kslsports.com. The 6A tournament will be interesting to watch. Lone Peak, of course, Fremont having a great year. Syracuse has always look, has been looking strong. As uh, Rudder going to pick up, is going to draw the foul. The foul goes to Tanavasa. That is team foul number four as they're going to give Shooting to Chloe Rudder the free throws as she's the first. So now Ahine will come off as Rudder hits the two free throws. So Nordstrom out to Lawrence. Nordstrom on the drive, floats it, and draws a foul on Rudder. And that will put Shawnee Nordstrom at the line for two free throws. Shawnee, Shawnee hits the first. This Marion Jones goes back on for Tess Livingston. And Nordstrom got both free throws to go. As we near the three minute mark left in this one. Of course, the boys' game will be coming up at 7 o'clock. Rudder drives on Tanu Vasa, and Tanu Vasa with the block. Let's play there by Naya Tanu Vasa. And now timeout taken by Coach Reeves. Full timeout. And we'll be right back. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind. College wasn't built for me. I didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Or if my kid had a fever. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. I want to take tests when I'm ready. I want to take courses on my time. And speed up when I know my stuff. I want a university that cares about me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. Jake said these are awesome for studying. 
line. You shouldn't ever take someone else's medication. Know your script. Talk to your kids about the dangers of sharing prescriptions. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Test day's test day. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. So PG to inbound. Inside of three minutes left in this one as Feely couldn't handle it. Picked up by Lawrence. Rich terminates there. That is stolen. Sends out to Nordstrom. Cycled through to the corner. Tony Vasa along on the three. And that ball goes off of Pleasant Grove and it will stay here. Rich on the give and go to Lawrence, but it's Feely stripping it away. Step back three goes for Pleasant Grove. Marin Jones with the triple. Johnny Nordstrom back to the corner and is Sam Hope 4-3. Draws a big celebration from her teammates. Jones gets her own board and now the foul will be charged to Shawnee Nordstrom. Number three on Shawnee. Meg Eaton will come on for Shawnee Nordstrom. Be the end of the night for Shawnee. As Deal comes back on for Reeves. And Peterson on as well. As Jones off on that free throw, and it'll be one peak ball. Tanu Vasa. Sends it out to Sam Hope. And now a screening foul. And the foul goes to Naya Tanu Vasa. Viking substitution number 35, Sarah Newman replaces number 20, Chloe Rudder. Vikings inbound. There's over a minute and a half left in this one. All one peak. It was tight there early on in the first quarter. As, uh, as we mentioned, it was 10 to 9, and then it was a big finish for Lone Peak in the half as Feely gets that one to go and really just instant him. It was a 23 to 3 run, a one point after being down 10 to 9. Finished the half on a 32 to 4 run. And uh, PG never really had a shot after that. There's a uh, Kaylee Rich. Sends up top to Lawrence. Lawrence on the drive. Left it a little wild. Here comes Marin Jones. Marin down the lane and got that one to go. It was good defense there by Tony Vasa. Not giving up the foul. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll Take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind. Closing moments here at Lone Peak. Dusty Litster with you. You're on Game Night Live Rewind. Again, the boys game will be coming up at 7 o'clock. There's Lone Peak. Boys looking to get off on the right foot in the second half of region play, heading to the state tournament. As Coach Rob Ross's team has played well in the first half of nearly every region game. And then the second, the third quarter, there's a puzzle they've got us, a, a riddle they've got to solve. Is uh, sent out to Tanu Vasa. Is again, no shot clock there to take this thing all the way down. It'll be a 
Another impressive win for Lone Peak. As the Lady Knights improved to 15-0 on the year, 6-0 in region play with a 72-47 win against Pleasant Grove. Our Heidemann and Associates player of the game. We're going to go with Shawnee Nordstrom. I thought Shawnee played really, really well. We could have gone with Wilson, but Shawnee Nordstrom hit the half-court shot, made a bunch of big plays. She and Nawahine were a terrific 2-3 punch with Kaylee Wilson. But our player of the game is going to go to Shawnee Nordstrom. Again, our final score, Lone Peak 72, Pleasant Grove 47. Again, we'll have every region game right here on KSLSports.com. Boys game coming up at 7 o'clock. You've been watching Game Night Live Rewind on KSL Sports.